So it looks like the House is moving to impeach Donald Trump again, even though he gets out of office in nine days. Um, Biden will be inaugurated as what, the 46th president, I think, right? On January 20th. It's January 11th now. So here's NPR. In wake of Capitol attack, House begins move moves to impeach Trump again. And again, what he was impeached before on the uh, stuff around uh, Ukraine and supposed, you know, corruption or illegal activity there that obviously nothing, nothing happened. It was a big, frankly, a big waste of time. And I mean, it is very telling, frankly, what the Democrats are willing to try to impeach Trump over. I mean, in the long litany of things, I mean, for example, how about, uh, you know, putting, putting kids in cages or the forced hysterectomies that have been happening, you know, with ICE to these detained migrant women or the, you know, emoluments clause taking all of this, uh, you know, money from these foreign governments, these foreign powers and, enriching himself how about the complete gutting of environmental regulations his horrible failings at addressing the coronavirus pandemic um the assassinate ordering the assassination of Qasem Soleimani which very well could have uh, started world war three um you know if Iran hadn't acted in such a measured way with their response to uh you know Qasem Soleimani's assassination you have this huge long laundry list of things or aiding and abetting the the genocide that's that's taking place in Yemen again that also started under Obama same thing with the uh, putting the kids in cages um but I mean there's a long huge laundry list of things that would have made frankly in my in my opinion a lot more sense to impeach Donald Trump on than that stuff with Ukraine and I think frankly um, the only reason they impeached Donald Trump over the Ukraine stuff was because um, Trump was trying to get dirt on Joe Biden's son and implicate Biden and and his son with with corruption with stuff what was going on in Ukraine which there definitely was some evidence of that there with you know, Biden's son getting paid, what, fifty, seventy thousand dollars by this Ukrainian natural gas firm. He's no expert in any any of that stuff. And that's obviously he was given that money, um, you know, because of his political connections, i.e. his dad being Joe Biden. Um, and then so, yeah, they impeached him over that ridiculous stuff. Nothing, nothing happened. It was a huge, big waste of time there's a lot more substantive stuff that they could obviously win after trump with and about um but because they are largely d democrats in power largely don't care about those things or they support it or they're complicit with it too then you know it all fell by the wayside and again what's this is more i think just political theater at this point there's there's nothing that's going to happen as a result of this there's never going to be enough republicans in the senate that would go along i don't think with, with so again it's just a big waste of time it's 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 theater um and it's supposed to maybe show the democrats as acting as some type of resistance even though they you know gave gave trump his his space force they gave him uh, you know, more money for the military budget than he asked for, um, you know, just just all of these things. There's there's a consensus of the corporate duopoly for, for so many things. So just a big, frankly, waste of time, um, in my opinion. Like, how about instead of doing this ridiculousness, why doesn't somebody in the House maybe have force the vote so we'd be getting a vote on medicare for all right now i mean for god's sakes um so it just seems like when trump when the democrats the establishment sees from their perspective trump doing something that goes against 
you know, the political establishment, then it's time to clutch the pearls, not when, you know, he aids in the genocide that's happening in Yemen or his complicity in locking up the kids in cages or the forced hysterectomies happening in these ICE, um, you know, detention centers or what should more, you know, appropriately be called concentration camps, frankly, his failings with addressing the coronavirus, his deregulation all around, which is hugely disastrous. So not going after him on any of those substantive things, which you could actually make, you know, a pretty strong case for and get some, you know, political benefit from doing that. It's just this, you know, ridiculous show, this ridiculous theater while people are still really struggling. Where, where was this energy you know, from Democratic senators to get $2,000 checks. Oh, yeah, they completely dropped the ball and they uh, used their veto powers instead to make sure the military budget passed that Trump vetoed. I mean, again, it's just just a big, a big show, a big, big bag of nothing, um, in my opinion. Um, and then Biden saying, I've been clear, President Trump should not be in office, period. Um, on Friday, Biden said the decision whether to pursue impeachment with Congress is to make. Um, rep, GOP rep Dusty Johnson of South Dakota told NPR's Rachel Martin that while he believes Trump deserves a greater than average share of the blame for the rioting, he also puts blame on the political rhetoric in the country. This has built up over a long time. I don't know. So that's my take. I frankly think it's a big waste waste the time when Democrats could actually be fighting for things right now that would improve the material conditions in uh, for people's lives drumming up how about drumming up some fucking support right now for once Biden gets enacted to cancel student loan debt I would think that would greatly benefit the people more so than this political theater that's going to amount to nothing imagine if AOC the newly elected members of the squad, like, you know, Cory Bush and Jabal, Jamal Bowman, they're out there saying, um, we're going to do everything we can. We're going to organize protests, rallies, strikes, whatever it takes to make sure Joe Biden cancels student loan debt because he has the power to do that. Doesn't take Congress, doesn't take, you know, veto proof. 60 votes in the Senate, that's something Joe Biden can do. Like, that's something that would actually create change. And then there's, you know, other people saying, well, it, it sets a bad precedent if we don't, if we don't try to impeach Trump over this. I mean, I don't know. I, I just, I just don't buy that. I think it's a big, big, big bag of bullshit. Um, frankly, and just just a waste of time when there's a lot better things that they should be fighting for right now. Like I said, putting pressure on Joe Biden to cancel student loan debt or maybe getting him to support Medicare for all because it's a, in the middle of a fucking pandemic and we're the only industrialized country that being the U.S. that doesn't guarantee health care as a human right to all of its citizens. Seems like that'd be a little more important, but hey, that's just me. Leave your thoughts in the comment sections down below. Subscribe for more content. Peace. Much love.